Hello to all my dear students of class 9. Welcome back to uh, the session and uh, this is your second uh, session or the second video on the chapter working with institutions. Okay and uh, today in this video we will be reading about uh, what institutions are. Okay what are the various kind of institutions and we will also try to uh, cover up uh, one of the institutions uh, in this video okay now what are institutions now uh, from the example of office memorandum that we studied in the first uh, video uh, we clearly know that in a uh, country in a democracy especially we have some people who take certain decisions right and there are other people who implement that decision okay like in the case of, of uh, office memorandum 36012 the uh, you know the parliament took the decision okay and the department of personal and training they were the one who implemented the decisions right and uh, if disputes arise on these decisions or in their implementation there is a body you know that uh, tries to solve that problem and that tries to determine what is right or what is wrong okay so in the case of office memorandum we uh, studied how the supreme court intervened in the matter and tried to resolve that uh, problem that you know uh, that arise during the time of its implementation okay so institutions are basically you know uh, in modern democracies to take care of all these you know uh, you know different works okay of taking the decision of, uh, of implementing the decision and of you know uh, you know solving the problems or intervening or giving the decisions when disputes arises okay there is a special arrangement in a democracy okay and there are special bodies who attend to all these different tasks, all these different functions, right? Just a decision, line, implement, karne, okay, problem solve, karne, okay, disputes are resolve, karne, you task, or different, ki uncha, uh, you know, body, uncha, okay, arrangement, uncha. and these arrangements, let's say, we call it institutions, okay. So, all these, you know, uh, different institutions that we have in a democracy they have different different functions one is responsible for taking the decision one is responsible for implementing the decision and one is uh, responsible for settling if disputes arises during the time of implementation okay so institutions are basically we can call it as legislature they take the decisions okay executive just the decisions like you could execute could implement could okay and judiciary who tries to resolve when conflicts arises during the time of implementation okay now working with these institutions is not very very easy okay and it has been asked as a question okay to explain the statement okay so let us try to understand what you mean by saying that okay now institutions they involve rules and regulations okay so all these institutions that we have in a democracy okay the three institutions particularly legislature executive and judiciary they have to follow certain rules and regulations that means they do not work on their own there are certain norms there are certain rules judiciary executive your legislature they follow okay and these rules and regulations they bind the hands of the leaders that means it controls the leaders from taking you know irrational decisions or you know preventing them for misusing their powers okay uh, also institutions involve many kind of meetings committees and routines okay so institutions by meetings or committees or form ones are okay there is a routine that they have to follow okay and there are certain delays sometimes okay there are certain complications that they have to follow okay the meetings uh, committees or form on the okay decisions like that it delays um, okay complications or problems or open so therefore dealing with the institutions can be very very frustrating okay so frustrating that one might feel that it is actually better to uh, have one person take all the decisions okay so you know it is a slow on decision making process it is a complicated okay so sometimes we may feel that okay one person lead decision level in a better role okay but again that will not be the spirit of democracy see when one person takes a decision then that is not democracy at all right so we cannot have one person take all the decisions there are rules there are procedures and there are meetings that everyone has to follow okay and all these three institutions like your rules procedures meetings all the you know complications or don't only follow 
पर्च दिस इज अ पार्ट अफ डेमोक्रेसी ओके बिकज इन अ डेमोक्रेसी एवरी वन हेज टू बी इन्वल्व इन अ डिशीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस ओके सो सम डिलेज आर बाउंड टू हेपन ओके सम कम्प्लिकेशन आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई इंस्टिट्यूशन यू नो एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी यूजफुल ओके इन द सेंस दैट दे प्रोवाइड अपर्चुनिटी फॉर अ वाइडर सेट अफ पीपल टू बी कंसल्टेड इन एनी डिशीजन ओके सो इस डिलेज कम्प्लिकेशन होता खेल इन अ वे यो राम हो क्योंकि अज ज्यादा मन को कंसल्टेसन लिख स अज ज्यादा मन को ओपिनियंस हमें विचार हमें बुझ् सकता ओके सो एंड ऑल दिस कैन हेल्प टू मेक द डिशीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस बेटर और मेक द डिशीजन्स बेटर ओके Institutions make it difficult to have a good decision taken very quickly, but they make it equally difficult to rush into bad decisions. Okay, so you know institutions are when all these institutions, when we have these institutions like legislature, executive, and judiciary, uh, of course the decision making process would be slow. But then we also have less chance of you know rushing into a bad decision. Okay, that means bad decisions ko chances ki unse kam ki unse when we have institutions. All right. So that is why you know we say that working with institutions is not easy because they have to follow certain norms, certain rules and regulations which can bind the hands of leader. Okay, which can delay or complicate the process of decision making. So today in this video, we are going to read about the first uh, institution of its kind, which is called the legislature. Okay. So parliament and legislature. Now in all democracies. There is an assembly of elected representative, which exercises supreme political authority on behalf of the people. Okay, so every democracy is ma we have representatives, right? And you know we studied in election uh, chapter also that we elect our representative, and these elected representatives, uh, we give them the power to take the decision on our behalf. Okay, हमारे behalf में decision लेने हमें लोग नाला की दिन जब power दिन जानी. Okay, when we elect them. right so in all the democracies we have elected representatives and these elected representatives they form an assembly okay in india ma uh, we have two kinds of assembly one is the national assembly that means it is for the entire country okay and we have the state assembly which is only for the state okay so in india the national assembly of elected representatives is called the parliament whereas at the state level these elected representative ko jincha assembly huncha it is called the legislature or we also call it the legislative assembly okay so i hope you are clear with this okay so democracies ma we elect representatives you know so representatives jala hamile elect gareko cha they take all the decision on behalf of us hai hamro lagi unale decisions lincha okay so dui ta khalke hamro ma you know assembly cha Okay, one is national assembly. India, my your national assembly, like this, bunch of we call it the parliament. Okay, and we have the stateless assembly. Okay, every state, my, my, my assembly, bunch of just my elected representatives are bus. Okay, so this uh, state level, co, bunch of our assembly, cha, it is called the legislature, or it is also called the state legislative assembly. Let's find out more about the national assembly now. So, why do we need this parliament? Eh? So, why do we need this parliament? necessary job we need parliament for it performs many functions okay so let us read that one by one the first thing is that parliament of a country it is the final authority for making the laws in a country okay parliament kira chain se banake because they make the laws for the country okay the laws for the country are made by the parliament okay so the parliament of a country they can make new laws okay they can change the existing laws or they can even abolish the existing laws and make new ones in their place that means parliament le naya laws banaunu sakcha purano existing laws are like change karnu sakcha kunai na chaindo laws haru cha bhane telai abolish bhane hataunu sakcha ra tesko badli ma naya laws pani banaunu sakcha okay the second reason why we need parliament is because parliament all over the world they exercise some control over those who run the government okay in some countries uh, like india this control is direct and full those who run the government can take the decisions only so long as they enjoy support of the 
पार्लियामेंट ओके सो व्हाई डू वी नीड पार्लियामेंट द सेकंड रीजन इज दैट पार्लियामेंट ले गवर्नमेंट ले के वर्ष कंट्रोल गर्छ ओके द गवर्नमेंट कैन पास द डिसिजन गवर्नमेंट ले कुनै पनि डिसिजन लिनको लागि दे नीड टु हैव द सपोर्ट अफ द पार्लियामेंट ओके जब सम्म उनाको मस पार्लियामेंटको सपोर्ट छ उनाले डिसिजन्स लिन सक्छ नभए गवर्नमेंट ले डिसिजन्स लिन सक्दैन ओके सो इन्डियामा दिस कंट्रोल अफ द पार्लियामेंट अन द गवर्नमेंट इज वेरी वेरी यू नो फुल एन्ड इट इज आल्सो डाइरेक्ट सो दैट्स अ सेकंड रीजन कम टु द थर्ड रीजन पार्लियामेंट कंट्रोल ऑल द मनी दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैव दैट मीन्स गवर्नमेंट को जति पनि फन्ड्सहरु आउँछ यू नो ट्याक्सेसहरु कलेक्ट हुन्छ ओके हाउ टु युज दिस ट्याक्सेस हाउ टु युज दिस मनी वेयर टु युज द मनी है कानेर कति पैसा इन्भेस्ट गर्नुपर्ने कति युज गर्नुपर्ने हो ओके ऑल दिस डिसिजन्स आर टेकन बाइ द पार्लियामेंट सो पार्लियामेंट एक्चुअली कंट्रोल द मनी अफ द गवर्नमेंट ओके विदाउट द यु नो डिसिजन अफ द पार्लियामेंट गवर्नमेंटले त्यो फन्डलाई युज गर्नु सक्दैन सो पार्लियामेन्टले सेन्सन गर्नुपर्छ ओके गवर्नमेन्टको डिसिजनलाई पब्लिक मनीलाई कहाँ युज गर्ने त्यो पार्लियामेन्टले सेन्सन गरेपछि मात्रै गवर्नमेन्टले त्यसलाई युज गर्न सक्छ इन डिफ्रेन्ट एरियाज ओके द फोर्थ रिजन इज बिकज पार्लियामेन्ट इज द हायेस्ट फोरम अफ डिस्कसन एन्ड डिबेट अन पब्लिक इस्युज एन्ड नेसनल पोलिसी इन एनी कन्ट्री पार्लियामेन्ट क्यान सिक इन्फर्मेसन अबाउट एनी मैटर सो द लास्ट वन इज भेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट इट सेज दैट यू नो कंट्रीमा सबसे हायेस्ट यू नो फोरम अ बिगेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म वेर अल द डिस्कसन्स अन पब्लिक इस्युज एंड नेशनल पोलिसी टेक प्लेस इट हेपिन्स इन द पार्लियामेंट ओके पार्लियामेंट भाई ठूल कुछ भी प्लेस छेन जहाँ इसी नेशनल डिस्कसन्स टेक प्लेस ओके डिबेट्स टेक प्लेस अन अल द इम्पोर्टेन्ट पोलिसी डिशिजन्स अफ द फर द कंट्री इट अल हेपिन्स इन द पार्लियामेंट ओके सो पार्लियामेंटले जुनै पनि कुराको इन्फर्मेसन उनीहरूले सिक गर्नु सक्छ कुनै पनि म्याटरमा उनीहरूले इन्फर्मेसन सिक गर्नु सक्छ ओके सो दिज आर बेसिकली द फोर रिजन्स वाई वी नीड अ पार्लियामेन्ट इन आवर कन्ट्री और इन एनी डेमोक्रेटिक कन्ट्री ओके सो इन एभ्री डेमोक्रेटिक कन्ट्री यू विल फाइन्ड सच नेशनल असेम्ब्ली विच इज कल्ड द पार्लियामेन्ट ओके इट हेज डिफ्रेन्ट नेम्स डिफ्रेन्ट कन्ट्रीमा डिफ्रेन्ट डिफ्रेन्ट नेम्स छ बट सच काइन्ड अफ नेशनल असेम्ब्ली पर्फर्मिंग डिफ्रेन्ट फंक्शन्स दे आर प्रेजेन्ट इन एभ्री डेमोक्रेटिक कन्ट्री नाउ इंडियामा द पार्लियामेन्ट हेज टू हाउसेस दैट्स वाई वी कल इट अ बाई कैमरोल लेजिस्लेचर सो बाई कैमरोल लेजिस्लेचर जहाँ कंट्रीज जहाँ पार्लियामेंट को दुईटा हाउसेस ओके हाउसेस कोई बेला हमें चेम्बर्स भाई सो पार्लियामेंट को दुईटा हाउसेस या दुईटा चेम्बर्स वी कल इट व्हाट बाई कैमरोल लेजिस्लेचर ओके सो इंडिया इज अल्सो अ बाई कैमरोल लेजिस्लेचर बिकज हम पार्लियामेंट को दुईटा हाउसेस ओके और दुईटा चेम्बर्स सो फर्स्ट वन इज द लोकसभा न लोकसभा इज अल्सो कल द हाउस अफ पीपल क्यों भादा खेल द मेम्बर्स अफ द लोकसभा आर डाइरेक्टली इलेक्टेड बाई द पीपल एंड दे एक्सरसाइज द रियल पावर उन्को में रियल पावर होके नाउ द राज्यसभा इज अल्सो कल द काउंसिल अफ स्टेट बिकज इट इज इनडाइरेक्टली इलेक्टेड ओके एंड इट पर्फर्म्स स्पेशल फंक्शन राज्यसभा को स्पेशल फंक्शन होके रियल पावर से लोकसभा को में हो बट राज्यसभा को स्पेशल फंक्शन हो जिससे स्टेट्स रिलेटेड मैटर्स ओके यूनियनस रिलेटेड मैटर्स यू नो दी टेक केयर अफ इट ओके सो टू हाउसेस लोकसभा एंड द राज्यसभा हाउस अफ पीपल काउंसिल अफ स्टेट अल राइट वन इज डाइरेक्टली इलेक्टेड द अदर वन इज इनडाइरेक्टली इलेक्टेड नाउ इनडाइरेक्टली इलेक्टेड राज्यसभा को मेम्बर्स भोटर्स ने डाइरेक्टली इलेक्ट करते हैं ओके भोटर्स ने जो रेप्रेजेंटेटिव छाने को दोज इलेक्टेड रेप्रेजेंटेटिव्स चूज द मेम्बर अफ द राज्यसभा ओके नाउ द प्रेसिडेंट अफ इंडिया इज अ पार्ट अफ द पार्लियामेंट अल दो ही और शी इज नट अ मेम्बर अफ इधर अफ द हाउस नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट ओके नौ इसको मतलब के भादा खेल प्रेसिडेंट ही इज अ पार्ट अफ द पार्लियामेंट ओके तर ऊ लोकसभा को मेम्बर है राज्यसभा को मेम्बर है इज अ पार्ट अफ द पार्लियामेंट ओके क्योंकि भादा खेल बिकज वेन एवर द पार्लियामेंट पास इज एनी डिशिजन ओके कुछ यू नो बिल पास गए कुछ ल पास गए इट बिकम्स अ ल ओन्ली आफ्टर द प्रेसिडेंट गिव्स एसेंट टू विथ प्रेसिडेंट ने तेल यू नो एक्सेप्ट करे मत कु चीज लॉ फर्मुलेट होके सो दैट इज वाई यू नो वी सी दैट ही इज द पार्ट अफ द पार्लियामेंट बट He is not the member. That means he is not the member of the Lok Sabha. He is not a member of the Rajya Sabha. He doesn't sit in either of these houses because he is not the member of either of the house. There are again without the president, 
the decisions will not become final okay it will not become laws okay without his assent okay so that's about the two houses of the parliament uh, and because we have two houses of the parliament we call uh, our legislature as a bicameral legislature now there is a uh, there are some few question asked in page number 84 in your book what is the total number of the members in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha? Who elects the members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha? What is the length of term? That means kati years term Can the house be dissolved or is it permanent? So these are some of the questions that has been asked. Now, humble discussion, Badma. I think you have already uh, been able to answer to this question. Uh, you can think about the answer. I think you will get a lot of idea from the previous chapter we have done also. Uh, so, uh, the answer to this question is now, when it comes to total number of members in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, it's different, okay. Lok Sabha has 545 members, okay, out of which 543 comes from all the parliamentary constituencies, whereas two members are elected by the president from the Anglo-Indian com community, okay. So, India, Anglo-Indian community, Bharadwizana, you know, members are the president nominate Gorno Pauncher. So, including them, we have altogether 545 members in the Lok Sabha. Okay. Uh, now, Rajya Sabha, Maji, we have uh, not more than 250 members. Currently, we have 245 members. Okay. So, of this 245 members, again, 12 members are nominated by the president who come from the uh, very eminent background, okay, just the important fields, which are just the literature, arts, science, sports, Bharaji, important people are like President Liki Garsa nominate Garsa. So, 12 of them, okay, are also uh, nominated, 12 members nominated by the President are also the member of the Raja Sabha, okay. So, altogether we have 245, okay, but it can go up to how many? 250 saman janu saksa, the basic now, the next is who elects the members, okay. Now, Lok Sabha ko members, sir, they are directly elected by the voters, okay. And Rajya Sabha ko, as I said earlier, they are indirectly elected. That means the representatives who are chosen by us, okay, they further go on to choose the member of the Rajya Sabha, okay. Coming to the term, Lok Sabha is dissolved after every five years. That means Lok Sabha ko term kati ho, panch parsa. Now, within five years, just majority if they lose that majority, then they dissolve no Okay, but the term for Lok Sabha is how many years? Five years. Coming to the term of the Rajya Sabha, uh, Rajya Sabha ko term is generally six years, term limit. That means Shah Barsa some member. Okay, however, you know, one third of the members of the Rajya Sabha they retire every uh, second year every two years month you know one third members retire on job and they are replaced by the new elected members okay there are each member jocha rajya sabha ko una ko term ji chha barsa bhanda besi hundaina all right now the next is can the house be dissolved now i think your term bada nai bujhi halcha lok sabha dissolve hunu sakcha that means after every five years lok sabha ke huncha dissolve huncha that a Rajya Sabha che, it is more like a permanent body, okay? Because you ki unde jancha, isko members aru, uh, you know, uh, unako chow years term po ke pachi, unaru ki unde jancha, retire unde jancha. Okay, so tali gada hi replace unde jancha. So tali gada hi we can call Rajya Sabha a more kind of a permanent body, okay? Whereas Lok Sabha che ki uncha, five years terms complete unde bide ki ki uncha, dissolve uncha. So I hope this satisfies your uh, questions. And I hope many of you got the answers correctly also, what you had in your mind. Uh, now, moving further to which house is more powerful. So, we studied about the two houses, Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Right na? So, which house is more powerful? Ho? Okay. So, see, Rajya Sabha, la chi, we also call it the upper house. Upper chamber. Bancha. Okay. Rajya Sabha, la, upper chamber. Bancha. And Lok Sabha is known as the lower chamber. Okay. Uh, by this designation, uh, some people might think that Rajya Sabha is more powerful than the Lok Sabha. Okay, but it is not like that. Okay, upper house, ra, upper house, ra, lower house, the upper chamber, ra, lower chamber. Ji. It is only a way of speaking. It is only a style of speaking. Actually, uh, you see, if you see the 
actual working of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, you will come to know that uh, Rajya Sabha has special powers, but uh, more important or the supreme power je, Lok Sabha le exercise. So that means the Lok Sabha exercises more supreme powers. Okay, so the upper chamber and the lower chamber does not really make a difference. Okay, when it comes to the working or decision making, we will now find out that you know Rajya Sabha has special powers, but having said that, Lok Sabha kuche kita they exercise the supreme powers. Okay, so how does Lok Sabha exercise supreme power? This is what the next slide is about. So any ordinary laws uh, needs to be passed by both the houses. Okay, kuni puni ordinary law. Okay, ordinary laws uh, So laws ma puni uh, see laws are open. There are many kind of laws. Okay, we call it ordinary law, and one is all related to the money. Okay, money related matters. Jalang money bill panita banta. Okay, so jaba ordinary laws are around. Okay, laws related to all the other matters, leaving the money matters. Okay, the typically ordinary laws are around. They have to be passed by both the houses of the parliament. Okay, both houses the pass kore pasi. That means Lok Sabha le pass kore pasi. It has to go to the Rajya Sabha. The Rajya Sabha also has to pass it. Okay, but if there is a difference between the two houses. The final decision is taken in a joint session. Okay, that is why when the after the Lok Sabha passes the decision, the Rajya Sabha, uh, you know, does not agree to those agree to that uh, decision. Okay, Rajya Sabha like the decision ma, like agree with them. Okay, so when there is a difference, okay, when both the houses have are having different opinions, in that case, we have something called the joint session. Okay, now this is very important. Joint session manche the members of both the houses. That means the 545 members of Lok Sabha and the 250 members of the Rajya Sabha. They sit together to take the decisions. All right, and uh, when is uh, bus joint session manche, what happens is that the Lok Sabha because they have more members than the Rajya Sabha. Their decision is likely to prevail. Okay, so Lok Sabha ko clearly ko these are 545 members. Sir. Whereas Rajya Sabha ma it has only 245 members. Okay, so is to halki you know joint session ma che uh, Lok Sabha ko decision. Okay, that means Lok Sabha le je chahe ko cha ya Lok Sabha ko jun decision cha that is more likely to pass. Okay, that is more likely to prevail because they have more members, they have more support than the Rajya Sabha. Okay. So that is why we see that Lok Sabha has more powers. Okay. The second uh, thing is the Lok Sabha exercise more powers in money matters. Okay. Again, I ordinary laws ko kura kare. Now there are certain laws which are related to only money related issues. Okay. Money matters or uh, related yeah, money related issues or jati In that uh, money related uh, matters or money matters maje the Lok Sabha has more power than the Rajya Sabha because once the Lok Sabha passes the budget of the government, okay, once Lok Sabha le government ko budget sanction kari saki pichhi, pass kari saki pichhi, ya jati pani money related laws or so once the Lok Sabha passes that, the Rajya Sabha cannot reject it. Rajya Sabha le dila reject ko no sak no. They can delay it by 14 days and they can suggest some changes, okay, Rajya Sabha le dila, you know, uh, 14 days some rahmu saksa okay uh, changes this ma leunu banera suggest kono saksa lok sabha lai but again it depends on the lok sabha whether to accept these changes or not okay it all depends on the lok sabha so in money related laws or in money related matters we see that the lok sabha has more say that means they have more power okay uh, coming to the third one see most importantly, the Lok Sabha controls the Council of Ministers. So we know that the members of the Lok Sabha are directly elected by the people. Okay. So Junji Council of Ministers, sir. Okay, in the government. Okay, the Junji the Council of Ministers, sir. They are under the control of the Lok Sabha. Okay. Only a person who enjoys the support of the majority of the members in the Lok Sabha, he is appointed as the Prime. Minister, okay, that means Lok Sabha ko jo majority member le junche manchala support kar okay, only that person gets to be appointed as the prime minister, 
okay if the majority of the lok sabha members say they have no confidence in the council of ministers all the ministers including the prime minister have to quit the rajya sabha does not have this power okay so there is something called the no confidence motion lok sabha le matre no confidence motion pass karnu saksha okay so you know if the lok sabha uh, you know the lok sabha has control over the council of ministers when i say this it means that yadi lok sabha le no confidence motion pass kare bhane saying that they don't uh, trust the or they don't have uh, confidence on the council of ministers then the entire council of minister including the prime minister they have to quit una they resign gunno parcha okay whereas rajya sabha ko ma is to keep any powers jo china okay so these three uh, you know uh, clauses ko through bridge we can see that the lok sabha exercises supreme power or it has more power than the rajya sabha okay uh, because lok sabha is directly elected by the people we can say it has more powers it has supreme powers okay and how it has supreme power we just discussed in this three points okay the first point is related with the ordinary laws the ordinary laws has to be passed by both the houses but when there is a difference okay kune house le tela reject you know accept karena bhanne then we have a joint session again what is a joint session when members of both the houses lok sabha and the rajya sabha sit together to pass the decision then it is called a joint session so in this joint session maje lok sabha ko because they have more members than the rajya sabha their decision is likely to prevail okay the second reason is we read that you know in money related matters ya money issues ma ya money bill ma je lok sabha ko ki cha jyada ki cha role ya jyada power cha okay because once the lok sabha le money bill pass kare sake pachi rajya sabha le tela reject karno paundaina okay and the third one is because lok sabha controls the council of minister okay if the lok sabha passes no confidence against the council of minister then the entire council of minister will resign gone but along with the prime minister okay all these powers are not enjoyed by the rajya sabha hence we say that lok sabha exercise supreme power so i hope you are clear with this now this is a very important question from an exam point of view okay which house is more powerful so you will have to give these three arguments to say that lok sabha exercises the supreme power So I hope this is clear with you all. Thank you very much for your precious time.